Okay, Robert, thank you so much. Well, a timely talk now as a lot of people are heading out for summer vacations and they'd be leaving their home. So joining us now live on 5 on 2, John North, the CEO and president of the Dayton Better Business Bureau to talk about home security. Uh, very important. So let's first start um, with some tips for choosing a trustworthy home security provider. Well, you know, realistically, a home in the United States is burglarized every 13 seconds. Wow. And your Better Business Bureau gets over 600,000 inquiries about um, alarm service companies specifically. And so some of the things that we're worrying um, warning people about this season is a lot of people get out and start knocking on doors, raising money for this, that, or the other. And we also have a lot of salesmen coming to our doors when the weather breaks. And so you need to be very careful and do your research. First thing, if they're using aggressive tactics or persuasion methods to try and get you to buy a system, um, then you should probably really do your research before entering into a relationship. A lot of the things that they're pulling is that they're actually going to you saying that your alarm company went out of business if you already have an alarm so if you have that alarm there um, you're not a target for burglars but you may be a target for a burglar salesman um, that an alarm salesman that's trying to dupe you so they'll go they'll tell you that your comp their company has went out of business their company bought it and try and pressure you into getting into your house reprogramming the system so it's going directly to their particular company and stealing that right away from wow. a legitimate legitimate service that you may be purchasing that's dirty. Um, how, okay, so how do you know if they're legit? Well, some things that you need to look for. Again, you know, really look into the company before you um, give any information to them. Make sure that they're wearing things that identify them yeah. as a legitimate company. You know, a company out there, all, all companies like to brand themselves, and they're going to wear not only an outfit, a uniform that says who they are, but uh, they're also going to have that on their trucks or any vehicles that they have. Yeah, I'm looking at some of these tips. I really like that second one, get recommendations. Yeah. Maybe a good friend, a family member, or check in with the BBB. That's right. Friends and family are always good to get information from. Um, you want to make sure that you're dealing with a reputable firm, so you want to make sure that you go and you check out with the BBB and see what other kind of chatter is going on on the web related to this company. You want to consider their reputation, but also years of service. And when you get those references, get three of them and make sure you check them out. A lot of people think that, oh, they've gave me the references, so they're just going to be, you know, good people talking about their company. But be sure to check those references out. Um, also ask about any charges that there may be upfront charges, uh, what the fees are going to be on a regular basis, who is actually going to be monitoring your service, and what happens if you're not happy with that service, what are the, what are the steps that you need to take to be able to get out of the service. All great tips. John North, uh, CEO of the Dayton BBB. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Katie. Mark.